First tonight, the Banksy painting that drew crowds to a Nottingham street corner has gone. It was taken away at the crack of dawn this morning and now it seems that the hula hoop girl, as it was christened, has been sold to an art gallery. Well, in a moment we'll hear from Will Gompertz, the BBC arts editor, about its significance to the city, but first our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. The intrigue and hype around the elusive Banksy brought admirers to Radford in droves. It was a small piece of street art that caused a huge stir. But today, this, the painting and the bike, have both gone. You're joking. So how did they cut the wall out to take it out? I can't believe that. I'm really, like, quite sad about that. Good job we got our photo by it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was, like, something interesting that was happening. It made this area a good attraction for a lot of people. Everyone in this community felt something towards it. And I think it's priceless, so, you know, I, I am a bit angry. This morning's removal work began around 6am, waking the neighbours on Rothsey Avenue. There was a white van. Dan went out to complain about the noise. It's a bit upsetting. It's a real shame because it's, it's a Banksy and it's a, they're, they're very valuable for the people that own them, but they're also very loved by the people that live in the area that they're in. I remember when it was put in, uh, in I think it was mid-October 2020, the whole road was, there was a lot of life. So yet another unexpected twist in a story that's been surrounded by mystery and it's prompted a lot of questions today. Was it stolen? Was it taken away to be restored? Well, now we've got an answer. The police turned up, obviously thinking someone's stealing it. The owner's getting fed up with seeing it getting vandalised, so we thought we'd need to protect it. So obviously we've cut it down each side, they've clamped it together and it's been safely put on a truck to take to an art gallery. It's been sold to a Banksy collector who says the protective Perspex screen was allowing moulds to damage the paint. He's paid what's being described as a six-figure sum. I just love it. It is a wonderful piece by Banksy that it has got all the, the enthusiasm and fun that street art should have. And that fun has been contagious. We set up a kind of satirical gift shop in our front garden selling like these terrible Banksy drawings for like three pounds that were just, they were like stick drawings with a bike, it was awful. But it was very fun, it was a nice thing to have. And now Radford's loss will be Suffolk's gain after the Banksy gets a spruce up, it'll go on public display in the dry. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today, Nottingham.